Now, it is easy to take for granted the comforts of a warm house and clean meals. In fact, primary level social studies term food, shelter, and clothing as a basic human right. But what does it mean to be a street child surviving on the mercy of strangers and learning to accept hardships and cruelty as a part of life? Here's Christine Kamal with the tale of the street. That laws that creeps about in the clean core of sophistication. You've seen him waylay his betters and make them start, especially when they have no change. And on it goes. You held a coin, which missed the target and rolled into the gutter, where he groped for it with a chilling grotesque gratitude. The sum of the words of Laban Erapu in his poem, The Guilt of Giving. <laughs> There are some things that help a child to stay in the home. Uh, is with the parents who care, who give food, give protection, give love. And those things are so attractive and they make a child to stay at home. But when those things are lacking, a child will definitely think they exist elsewhere. Not referring to their real names, John and Mary have indeed faced the brunt life of survival in the streets of Nairobi, and since having a life to live, they must. <laughs> Childhood is the pathway to adulthood. The inconsistencies and responsibilities forced onto these children and the organizations they form may carve out a difficult adulthood. Since a small child, starts with trust versus mistrust. That's why it needs to have a caregiver that trusts. Because if you have a caregiver whom you know will beat you up, you develop mistrust. But Mary and John represent a small number of street children who have benefited of their right to social protection and ended up in Nairobi Remand Children's Center, an institution where their needs are catered for. Nairobi Children's Remand Home is a statutory institution established under the section 50 of the Children's Act. It was established in 1957 to take care of children who are in need of care and protection and children who are in conflict with the law. But what provisions have been put by the government to rehabilitate children who have fallen short of care they deserve from adults? The children who are in need of care and protection, these are the children who have been uh, found to be without proper care. These are like... Uh, the, the street children, the children who are found begging, the children who are, who are abused, either physically, uh, emotionally, or sexually, children who are facing uh, danger, for example, F FGM, and uh, any child who does not have proper care. But what exactly does a child need to grow into a holistic human being in reference to a home environment? Dr. Owire tells us more. This, these three institutions, the family, the home, and the church, are very important socializing agents for a child because it's through the home, the school, and the church that the human tradition is passed on. And like other kids going to school and studying, these children too have dreams they wish to live upon being adults. <laughs> However, a bigger population of street children don't enjoy being in an institution like this, 
a baby and a happy place for rescued children who have been given an ample opportunity to explore their growing minds and through games, skills of strategy, analysis and abstract thinking are developed. There is no gift greater than that of a child, but living a life on the streets of a city exposed to cold and crime, lacking in love and protection, results to only an erosion from within. And for a country like Kenya, is future-oriented. It is only inevitable the responsibility of these children is taken seriously to guide a future where they are the most important. Christian Kamau, for KUTV.